Once upon a time, in the age of the Eternal Cylinder, there lived a family of little creatures called the Trebum. Trebum are not the strongest, nor the fastest, and they do not have sharp teeth. They would make easy prey for the terrible force that came to their planet. But Trebum are loyal and resourceful and very, very stubborn. It is with such a Trebum that our story begins. One clever little creature born into a cruel world who would be instrumental in bringing prosperity to its kind. Run, something inside him said, run! The great crushing thing, the great cylinder, had stopped. Perhaps it was safe here for a little while. How quickly it learned to use its legs and its trunk. But these things were not so much learned as they were remembered. Perhaps, the little Trebum thought, they were a gift from the strange voice it heard in its mind. That too was a kind of memory. Just when it was starting to get used to its legs, the food from the jumping creature gave it new ones. With the right substance as a catalyst, a trebum can transform and adapt to many challenges. The Trebum was drawn to a bright light, or perhaps to the creature next to it. Except for the grass growing on the old one's head, they were very much alike. Surrounded by this light, the Trebum knew things it had not known before. It knew the older Trebum had carried this light for a long, long time. And it knew that now that responsibility had passed to the next generation. Yes, this young Trebum had to carry the light to those great towers in the distance. It could have stayed here to learn many old things. But the cylinder would not allow it. Run, the inner voice said, run. The towers would not stop the cylinder unless they were activated. Quickly, 
The Trevum had to step on the symbol or the cylinder would not be stopped. voice inside the Trebum's memories assured it that while the tower stood, the Trebum would be safe. The power of the eternal cylinder was contained for now. This relative tranquility gave the Trebum a chance to think about its family. Trebum are not meant to live alone, so where were the others? of his siblings and sibling. The egg had been abandoned, but it could still be made to hatch. All that was needed was a source of help. Finding another Trebum was a cause for joy, but this new friend was not well. Deep inside the memories it had inherited, the Trebum found the answer. 
to recover. Its friend needed a very specific substance which appeared as glittering clusters of crystal dust. This dust was not natural. Only a great Trebum could create it. And so it was on the achievements of previous generations that the newborn Trebum would have to rely. Luckily, it seemed a wise and powerful Trebum had passed through here some time ago. This door had been built for Trebum. It gave them hope that in this large and dangerous world, some places had been made for them. <laughs> <laughs>